During World War II, a lot of wool was manufactured, therefore most people had wool somewhere on them. The men of Germany usually wore uniforms as the pictures show, and the ladies wore skirts and button-up shirts usually to be in the house all day. Women were to be homemakers of society, cooking, cleaning, and staying healthy and beautiful. From school age onward, girls were prepared for their future. They were taught subjects such as cooking, needlework, and health and beauty. Farming was enforced during World War II. During the Holocaust, Germans were forced to farm. If the father didn't produce food crops, then he would be forced to work on other things like fixing the cars that they transport food on. They also packaged the crops and food and made sure it was safe to ship. When the fathers were forced to work, if they didn't want to farm, they were forced to fix the farming machines that were broken. Hitler forced the mother and her children to transport food to other places. When the mother and children came back, they had to give them the money to Hitler. About the food production, the fathers were forced to grow the crops. Then the mothers and children were, would package and ship the crops. The bigger the crop was, the more money they had to give Hitler. The sports during World War II aren't as safe as they, were, as they are now, in days. The, they only had a couple of sports. Some of them are soccer, football, baseball, and they also had <laughs> Olympic running. The women in World War II had very important jobs. They had to be good mothers to raise children. They also had to keep a decent home for their working husbands. Education was taught to young girls. They were taught that this was the lifestyle they should have. Many women decided to work in factories also. They made as far as ammunition to uniforms to aeroplanes. Skilled women would make two pounds, 15 pence a week, but men doing the same work were paid more.